Hello again, good to have you back again. Of course, if you're tuning in for the first time, I am the Articulate Grunt. Welcome to my channel. So, City of Springfield, November 24th, City Council meeting, and November 25th, City Council luncheon. Let's get down to the info. First thing up, the new proposal on the laws and restrictions for scooter usage in the City of Springfield got tabled, means it got taken off the docket, and sent to committee for further review. It turns out that as the way it was currently written may be in violation or conflicting with state or federal regulations. So that's being sent to council to be reviewed, looked into, and redeveloped into a workable and legal proposal. Now I know that's what some of you came here for, so I got it out there first thing. Another thing, being looked at by the mayor and the city council. It's been looked at before, but not really seriously, but now they're getting serious proposals on the effectiveness and how much it would cost to get lapel cameras for the Springfield City Police Department for officers to wear on the street so everything's recorded, both video and audio-wise, that everything that happens that the officer sees and does and takes place in front of them. Personally, I love this idea, but then again, I'm one of those open book kind of people or it's like, you want to know something? Ask. I'll tell you the truth. Or if it's something relating to somebody else where, I, where it's not my information to give, I'll let you know. I can't give you that information talk to so-and-so. The proposed bill that went up two weeks ago for the mandatory daily reporting by scrap metal receiving facilities, vendors, etc., to the City of Springfield Police Department. Yep, daily reporting, basically, of their business conduct. Got approved and passed. It is, in effect, they're going to have to daily report everything that's brought in to help with the rise in that kind of crime. However, due to the concerns of how much work this is going to create, how much extra cost this is going to incur on the scrap metal folks, Mayor Stevens has required that in six months it be reevaluated, looked at it, how much good it's actually doing and how much work it's generating. And at that time, it may very well be repealed and pulled off the books. Personally, a spot of entertainment side, as a constituent, a member of the city has pushed up a bill for consideration by the city council to possibly go before presentation for research and vote, and a vote to become city ordinance for the city of Springfield to join, apparently, every major city in the country in the usage of shuttle bikes. Personally, this is something I've never seen or heard of before, but effectively it would be places around the city where you could go and you know, pay a quarter along with five other people to all get on a six-person joint bike to pedal from point A to point B together as kind of a low environmental impact public transport shuttle system. I've never heard or seen of this. If you have, great. I also can't find anything on the web. I may just be missing it. Send me links or something. But in all my travels across the country and in over 30 countries around the world, I've never seen this as a mode of public transportation. Family transportation, yes. Public, no. So let me know what you think on that one. Send me links if you've got them. I've never heard of it as a mode of public transportation. Two final things. One, the City of Springfield's OCP, Overflow Control Plan, that plan and operation required by federal law to basically deal with when we get heavy rainwaters that leak into the, our sewage system and cause manhole covers to pop up and sewage to flow into our streets is entering its next stage, its next step, its evolution and process. City of Springfield, like almost every major city across the country, is behind in the regulation and implementation. However, we are commonly the state and a national leader in our proactivity on this project. Well, the new project would call for a funding and expenditure of $200 million over the next 10 years. Now, how are we going to fund this? Now, what's been proposed and what's being considered by council and pushed through for consideration and everything is a 6% increase to what city residents are charged on our monthly sewage bills per year for the next 10 years. Now, what that would mean is 6% added to the sewage bill every year which doesn't sound like a big deal, not a big thing. And personally, it makes sense. It sounds like a good plan, but I don't think a lot of people realize the money that's being talked about, the percentage that adds up to. 6% a year over 10 years, that's 60%. Actually, it's not. For simple math, I'm going to use $100 for the equation. First year, it's 106. Second year, that's $112.36. Basically, that 6% adds on to the previous full amount. So by your third year, it's $119.10 off the base of, you know, starting on 
year zero, you're paying 100. My point is this. Over those 10 years, if paying on year zero a $100 base, by year 10, you'd be paying $179.08 a month. So, just letting you mull that over. Now, for my final point of the data, as you may know, city council positions are opening up, and four individuals so far have picked up petitions to run for city council. I can't, as of the closing date, I will be three weeks short of the required residency. So be it. But of the four individuals running, I know none of them. I've been attending the city council meetings, city council lunches, special events for a year and a half. I met one of the four Monday night at the city council meeting. And he's telling me about how, oh, he's been going for 22 years, and you know he's been involved in a number of different things. And my red flags immediately went off because I've been attending everything I pretty much could for a year and a half, and I don't remember ever seeing him before. So there's that against him in my book. As for the other three, city council meeting, I didn't meet anybody else, see anybody else who was claiming to be running for city council and city council luncheons. I've seen nobody new. Personally, it's just one of those things that if you're going to be involved, you want to be a member of the city council to help run and guide our city. If that's something that drives you, you really should be spending some time in advance getting to know what's going on, being involved, knowing who the players are, knowing where people stand, and how things generally run. Otherwise, really how effective, how good of a leader can they be knowing nothing and no one knowing them. So, if you should meet one of these four, if they should be holding a rally or something, ask them, where have they been? What have they been doing? What have they been involved in in our city already? See just how involved and how much they actually care, or how much this is just a stepping stone for them. Take care of yourselves. I hope this found you well. Thanks for listening to me rant and ramble. Remember, get up, get out, get involved. Nobody's stopping you from doing your best but you. Get involved in your community and make a difference. I am the Articulate Grunt. Until I catch you next time, out from here. Bye.